All right, folks, today we are cooking this amazing German Sauerbraten. So stay tuned. It's time to grill. Let's get started with one of German's most traditional dishes from the region where I live. You will need water, two kinds of vinegar, bay leaves, a jupila, peppercorns and mustard seeds. Bring this to a boil. Traditionally, Rhenish Sauerbraten is served with horse. But this is not very accepted today, so we're using beef. We have a nice beef roast. You can see where the meat goes, so where to cut later on. And after heating up the water vinegar mixture, put your meat into a bowl and then pickle the meat for approximately eight till 10 days. Let it cool down first, add some foil, and then every two days, give it a turn, flip it over, put on foil again, and leave this in the fridge. It starts to get grayer and grayer each day, but this is the goal. So you really get a nice piece of roast with sour flavor. We are almost there. I took it off after eight days. Don't throw away the pickle juice. You will need this later on for seasoning your sweet and sour sauce. Now clean this, get rid of the mustard seeds, seeds clean it a little bit, and then let it sit just on the cutting board for one or two hours. Now season with salt. And in the meantime, I have already prepared a starting chimney full of charcoal briquettes. And we are cooking this one in the Dutch oven today. This is my Landman Kepler charcoal kettle. And the perfect thing is to use the Landman Dutch oven here, heat it up and start roasting your beef. It might take a while because you will first have a little bit of the liquid with the uh, vinegar inside the Dutch oven, but keep going until you have a nice brown color almost everywhere. Now take it, let that keep it warm and drizzle in some sunflower oil. Normally I show a lot of that cutting works, not today. Add carrots, onions, garlic, celery, parsley root and leek and let that roast for eight till 10 minutes. It should get a darker color and get softer and softer just like that. It might take some time, but it's worth the effort. And of course, as always, no worries. You will find the whole list of ingredients and measurements inside the video description. Add some tomato paste and let that tomato paste sit there for several minutes to roast it too. This will add the perfect flavor to your sauce. Again, let that sit there, roast, keep roasting, keep roasting, and then add the liquids. You will need a good amount of red wine, some of that pickle juice, give it a good mix, add some beef stock, and then place back your roast. You can now add some more herbs and stuff. I decided to add bay leaves and I made a smart package of parsley, thyme and rosemary. Put it in there, close the lid, add some charcoal briquettes on top and let that cook for a total cooking time of three and a half to four hours. You should check your roast in the meantime, of course. I did it every 45 minutes. In the meantime, I flipped it. And of course, you should make sure not to lose too much of that liquids in there. So keep going with the sauce. Add some more red wine in the meantime and let that reduce. More stock if needed just to get a real rich flavor. 
Maybe your charcoal will not last for hours. Mine did not last that time because it's very cold here. So I added some more charcoal in the meantime. Just get rid of the ashes on the lid. Then take it off, add some more charcoal and some more fresh charcoal on top. After three and a half hours about that, somewhere between, I did not check the time completely in details, somewhere between three and a half to four hours, take out your roast. Of course, keep it warm. I put this in a small bowl on my gas grill, get rid of the green stuff, the parsley package, bay leaves, everything. This is optional. The sauce here is rather sweet. You can t take raisins and let that soak up a little bit of brown rum. Due to the fact that this one is a traditional dish, it varies from the uh, parts of North Rhine-Westphalia you live. I was born and raised in Bonn and they add that sweet sugar syrup which is kind of a speciality here in Germany. And this one is a traditional thing that is close to gingerbread. We call these Aachener Printen, which is close to the part of North Rhine Westphalia where I live now. And it makes a nice consistency and of course it, it adds a sweetness. Make sure to season with salt and pepper. You could add some more of that pickle juice to get a little bit of sweetness. Now, this is the point where I added my raisins. I know that this might differ to the restaurant version you will get here. I place back the roast inside the sauce and keep that simmering for another, another five or 10 minutes or so. Just get, add a little bit of that sauce on top so it won't dry out. It looks already really delicious. If you go to a German restaurant, you will get a thin slice of that Sauerbraten. I'm not into thin slices. I'm into bigger slices. So this is how I cut my Sauerbraten. It's still a little bit juicy inside. And then I put the sauce into a food processor. This is how they serve it in restaurants. They added the raisins later on, so you now see the raisins inside that processed sauce. But what I like better is get a thick slice and serve some of that sauce with the pieces of veggies and raisins and everything in there. I like, I like that one better. But of course, the traditional one is the one with the sauce just with the pieces of raisins. We serve this with dumplings, red cabbage or apple puree. Feel free to do it as you like. This one is my version of German Sauerbraten. I hope you like it. Please make sure to hit that like button, comment and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. We're seeing us again in the upcoming days. Thanks for watching. I'm out. See you.